if you're watching on a YouTube please watch all the parts and subscribe if you like to learn some more in 3D I'm certainly going to release more video tutorials in the future okay and not only in 3D but graphic design as well I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips so that's what we're gonna do and then uh, I'm going to deselect the top part because I don't need that and also I'm going to deselect that part right here which let me show you which is selected over here and I don't need that so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to deselect that using one of my uh, top view uh, viewport as the trick how you selecting and deselecting multiple polygons okay okay so we're, we're not trying to do you know crazy work over here we're just trying to do something recognizable and this is the basic tutorial and for you to get started and then you can go complex subdivision and stuff like this alright so we just create uh, we just go ahead and select them now we're gonna go ahead and find, make sure we are on the polygons, extrude. We're gonna extrude it by 5, which is fine. So it's gonna bring that T's for us, and yeah. We have that T's, and if I'm gonna zoom in, you're gonna see those T's. And uh, if I'm gonna go ahead and click F9, you're gonna see the T's. And it's going to be our pin connection. We're just gonna make them a different color texture them a different color and we're gonna see them okay so, and always keep make sure when you're working with 3d max make sure you're saving constantly because uh, I'm gonna call it memory because um, 3d max uh, crashing a lot you know it's complex geometry and it's uh, crashing a lot so make sure you are saving your uh, project constantly Alright, so um, I just created the PCB and it's time to learn how to, so our memory PCB is ready and let's go ahead and uh, texture this memory uh, stick and it's time to learn how to bring some colors to our model, to our 3D model, which is called texturing or bringing some material in 3D Max Studio, but in the 3D world it's called texturing. By pressing M button on your key you're gonna bring the material editor you can also call it by going rendering and the select material editor okay you're gonna bring this guy right here and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the first material the first circle and I'm gonna name it I'm going to say uh, memory T's or something that I like alright then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on this icon right here assign material to selection I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and it's basically as you saw it's turned to into the gray and if I'm gonna go ahead and click F9 first I'm gonna go ahead select pen view and click on my um, viewport and then F9 you're gonna see it's bring to gray alright and everything is gray now well it's okay because um, that green color was by default and it wasn't a color it just was something and you, when you start texturing your model or bring some material the first material going to go ahead and assign to whole um, model and then to selection which is fine the next thing what we're gonna do we would like to um, this memory has this T's which is silver that's what we're gonna do and then it's black PCB so they're trying to say that you they are using high performance memory which they're not but they're trying to say I bet that their memory is a green color which is not high performance memory so what we're gonna do we're just going to say instead of black I'm gonna do in green because I downloaded the green PCB so what I'm gonna do but 
um, if I'm going to start selecting the polygons, let me show it to you. Um, the polygons select object when you in a uh, mode, and it's just going to deselect and to get back to my T's, you know, and make sure that they're not selected and everything else is selected. Kind of complicated. Well, I'm going to go Control Z undo. Well, there is easy way for this. You need to go edit and invert all. And it's going to just invert the selection for you, which is very nice and smooth. I'm going to click on second circle and I'm going to name it memory PCB. Alright, and um, I'm going to click, make sure I'm on my second selection. Let me go ahead and make it uh, red. And go ahead and click assign material to selection icon again. And it's going to assign the red to my uh, memory. I'm going to go ahead and click editable poly. So it's going to bring uh, select the whole 3D model. As you can see those silver and the top is red. And if I'm going to go ahead and click F9, make sure with the pen view that I'm in my perspective view. You can see that is in different color. So that's what we're looking for. Now we can uh, work with those two materials. That's one way. That's the easiest way how to work with materials because we're not going to assign the selection ID and I'm not going to go to all that advanced um, material and texturing methods. I'm teaching you first the basics. You need to have the foundation. Basic modeling using the polygons, basic texturing, basic lighting because this is one on one. And um, so we just have two materials that one responsible for the PCB and one responsible for the tools. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring on PCB that uh, material that we just downloaded over the Google. So I'm going to select the red uh, circle and diffuse and I'm going to select bitmap so I can select the custom um, the custom um, texture. Alright, and it wasn't there. So you need to go ahead and specify the path where your texture located. And I know it's in images, and I'm going to use this one right here. And it's one of my circuit uh, textures. It's not the way you saw on Google. But you can use the flat Google PCB, which is fine. Any images will do. I'm going to click Open. And it's going to open it right here. And let's see what happened. Click on Pan View. Select my uh, perspective uh, viewport. And click F9 on my keyboard. All right. We can see some PCB nicely uh, over here on the memory, which is nice, nice, nice. That's what we like um, with some um, white background over it. Well, basically, that's not so nice. So I'm going to go ahead and select some other PCB or some other image or I can go click view image and um, I can crop it. And um, because we have the white ba uh, border and that white border with F9 quick rendering it show up. And keep in mind that this video tutorial will not be shared. I'm trying to discuss every single part for all my beginners. So it's going to be dedicated for all YouTubers or not even YouTubers because this video will be available over at mrzmedia.com, morosacademy.com to all the users. Some of them are beginners and this is the beginning video tutorial for those beginners. And I'm going to discuss every single part. That's why this video tutorial will not be short. It's going to be very long and a lot of parts, an hour or so, will be involved. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, resize. And um, I'm 
I'm not sure why why I cannot um okay you just gotta click on corner and um, I'm gonna stay away just bring that PCB stay away from white borders like so as you can see that dots I can move and I can size the way you have wanted it bring a little bit green right here like so and I'm gonna click apply and F9 again and it's uh, went nice so we're about to get it get it working and then T's I'm going to adjust which PCB you can find a better image I'm just using whatever I had you can find a nice image with just few transistors not so many circuits because it doesn't look like a memory to many circuits um, you can even find the memory image out there and uh, if it's in flat you can just go ahead and um, use it and actually that's what I'm gonna do actually I'm going to go ahead and find the memory image computer memory and in my image um, okay and I'm going to find flat like this guy right here and I'm gonna go ahead and save it alright and I just saved that so I'm gonna go ahead and um, bitmap select the bitmap and um, I'm gonna go ahead and it's not in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put on pause and put it in there and keep in mind that it's not good to use somebody graphics it's good to take a picture of yourself but this is just video tutorial and I'm showing you some examples how you not have to do but you know use your own image I'm just you know don't have recently the memory I can go ahead and shot it but unfortunately I want to make it quick so I'm gonna go ahead and use that I'm gonna open it and uh, I'm going to use cropping placement which is gonna bring me here and scroll it down apply and cropping placement view image and uh, I'm going to select you can see the T's we have the T's we can use the T's as a texture as well but we're not going to do so uh, for the T's we're going to use the material actually that we're gonna create so I'm gonna select like so select that memory as you can see in that bounded box and gonna click F9 and um, gonna check it out yeah it's 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 good it's almost there and um, what I'm gonna do next 